Hey guys, I've spent about a week working on this lighting system and I just wanted to share my progress. I've linked all of the tutorials and resources I used in the description. This video is part of my devlog series where I make an entire game with my own game engine. The first thing I did was add screen space ambient occlusion. SSAO is an ambient occlusion approximation which works in real time. Here is the output of the SSAO stage, and as you can see, this adds a lot more depth to corners and crevices. I then took a break from programming and spent some time just modeling assets. I found that a good way for me to avoid being a perfectionist is to set a time limit. I challenged myself to make as many assets as I could in three hours, and this was the result. Back to programming, the next lighting technique I added was Bloom. It's fairly simple, you just clip the render output at a certain threshold, blur this result, and then layer it on your original scene. The light implementation itself is pretty standard. It supports inverse square falloff, sharp or smooth spotlight profiles, and different light colors. Each light can optionally be associated with a shadow map as well. Next, I wanted to fix this banding on the fringes of lit areas. Banding happens when a color gradient is too smooth and there aren't enough distinct colors to fill it. I'm not sure how well this will show after YouTube compresses this video, but it's definitely there. There are better ways of dealing with it, but I decided to just use order dithering to break up the banding pattern. It looks really old school, which I thought might work well for this project. I'm showing the effect here in black and white so it's a bit more obvious. Technically, this would be enough to start lighting the scene, but manually tweaking vectors by hand is pretty annoying, so I updated my Blender export script to support lights. That way I can design the lighting setup visually in Blender and then export it directly to my game engine. And here is the final result, uh, broken down by layer. So first we have the base ambient lighting, then we have diffuse lighting, specular lighting, baked ambient occlusion, which I drew by hand, screen space ambient occlusion, shadows, bloom, and then dithering at the end. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, but it's a work in progress, and I still have a lot of ideas for improvements. This game started out as a technical exercise, but I actually sort of want to make it good now. I know that originally I wanted to make it in a PS1 style, and I do still want it to look retro, but I also want to try out some more modern rendering techniques. Rendering at a lower resolution is also purely an aesthetic decision. The game still runs at 60 FPS, even at full QHD resolution without a problem. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is my first real game project, and I admit I am more of a programmer than an artist, but thinking about a game artistically has definitely been an interesting challenge. If you like the work I'm doing, please consider liking this video and subscribing, it really helps out the channel, and thanks for watching.